Here in the Philippines, the diesel pickup truck is undeniably the workhorse king. Not only is it uh, cheaper to run at the pump, but a diesel-powered pickup is often seen as more durable for most tasks, from hauling cargo to going to the mall. Now, because of this, Ford Philippines decided to bring in the diesel king of the Ford lineup, the Ford F-150 Lariat 4x4 diesel. Now, in this video, we find out what this brute has got to offer. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to another truck review. If you're new to my channel, I hope you click that subscribe button for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show after you click that like button. Also, special thanks to Ford Auto Hub here at BGC for providing the Ford F-150 diesel to do this review. If you have a need for any Ford and you're within the area, head on down here to Ford Auto Hub and check them out. For any inquiries, you may contact the person in my pinned comment below. Oh yeah, and mention that special code that you're seeing on your screen for more special treatment and more special freebies from Ford Auto Hub. Now what we have here is the 14th generation F-150, which has been completely redesigned for 2021. Now it might look uh, similar to the previous generation F-150, but as I mentioned, around 92% of this thing has been completely redesigned. The only carryovers here are the cab and the truck bed. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, the engine options as well. Now, speaking of engine options, this F-150 we have here has the much-coveted Power Stroke diesel engine that was first used in the F-150 in 2018. Now, the good news here, guys, is the price. You see this uh, F-150 Lariat 4x4 diesel has a retail price of 3,398,000 Philippine pesos, which is a solid price for a full-size, premium, diesel pickup truck. Now, the front fascia of the 14th gen has been completely redesigned, uh, but it still retains that intimidating F-150 look. When it comes to stare-downs against other full-size SUVs or even, let's say, mid-size pickup trucks, this beast right here will surely not back down. Now, the F-150 diesel comes with the full LED lighting system here uh, from the LED headlights, the LED DRLs, and the LED fog lights. Now, the headlight housing themselves have been completely redesigned because it's now a more traditional candy bar layout uh, coming from the previous uh, C or E layout that we had in the previous generation. Now, let me know in the comments below what you think about this redesigned headlight housing shape right here. Now, one of the key or key features of this trim, because this uh, F-150 is the Sport Laria trim, is the fact that we get a massive front grille here that is totally blacked out. Now, the other F-150 trims out there get a chrome front grille, but since this is the Sport Laria trim, yeah, it's, it has a blacked out front grille uh, that is appealing to me. In fact, when you look at the entire body of this uh, F-150, you see that it doesn't even get too much chrome here, a feature that will surely appeal to younger buyers out there. Now, the F-150 also comes with a couple of recovery points here on the front bumper, you know, just in case you get stuck on an off-road trail while you're, while you're driving this thing. Uh, not that it's gonna happen, guys, but at least it's there. Uh, and uh, when you look at the entire front mug of this F-150, I mean, look at it, guys. Uh, this thing is so massive that if you're just gonna drive this around the city, and you won't take it out on an off-road trail or the mountains or in the open highways, if this is just going to be a mall crawler for the city, yeah, it would look like you're trying to overcompensate for something. <laughs> 
Now, the side profile of the F-150 diesel shows off its more sporty intentions. As I mentioned a while back, well, unlike most other American trucks, uh, this bad boy right here does not get any chrome. Now, that is a thumbs up for me. Now, the Americans love their high-tech goodies, and so do we. And uh, this F-150 right here is equipped with a lot of high-tech goodies starting from the side mirror. You see, the side mirror of this F-150 are power folding side mirrors, and it has a heating function. It also has LED turn signals, a camera for a 360 system, and puddle lamps. Now, that's just the side mirrors. You see, the F-150 here is also equipped with a power step board that automatically comes out whenever it senses that you're about to get in the car. So we first saw this in the Ford Expedition, and this is one of those features that I love so much about this full-size truck. Now, this F-150 Lariat also comes with a functional front air vent here on the front fenders. And when you look at these uh, wheels, well, the F-150 is equipped with a massive set of blacked-out 20-inch alloy wheels that are wrapped in uh, 27560 R20 tires. Yeah, those are pretty huge. Now, behind these wheels, we get four-wheel ventilated disc brakes, and for the suspension, the F-150 rides on double wishbones up front and leaf springs at the back. Now, the ground clearance of this thing is a healthy 240 millimeters, which is uh, pretty much par for the course for a full-size pickup truck. Usually, in my truck reviews, whenever I get to the truck bed, it's a quick run-through of the payload and towing capacity of the truck, and then it's on to the next segment. Now, for the F-150, though, uh, this truck bed is so well-equipped and has so many features that it will make any features freak scream with ecstasy. You see, the F-150 comes with the LED taillights here, naturally, but these taillights also house the radars for your blind spot warning or blind spot monitor, uh, just in case you are towing something with, a, with the F-150, like, uh, like a trailer or, let's say, a boat, and you will still have access to your blind spot system. Now, this uh, F-150 is also equipped with auxiliary lights on the truck bed and on the, on the lift gate itself there, as you can see, uh, which will help you whenever you take this truck out on a camping night. Now, speaking of camping, uh, the tie down here on the right side of the lift gate also doubles as a bottle opener. So that's one less thing that you need to take with you whenever you're out camping. It also has some rulers here on the lift gate itself. And uh, speaking of the lift gate, guys, now, normally Ford equips its trucks with a power-assisted liftgate, but with the F-150, they took it uh, a step further. You see, this is no ordinary power-assisted liftgate, but rather this is an actual power liftgate. So as you can see, all you need to do is press twice on your key fob, and this liftgate automatically closes for you. Now, the same operation can be done when you're opening this thing, or you could just press the button here, and it automatically opens the lift gate for you. Now, this lift gate is also equipped with an easy access system uh, wherein if you want to get inside the, your truck bed, you just, pull this, uh, you just pull this out like that. It also comes with this nifty uh, handle right here, which will help vertically challenge people like myself to climb into the truck bed of the F-150. Now, the F-150 boasts of having one of the highest payload and towing capacity for a full-size truck. However, we won't see that in this diesel F-150. In fact, this diesel F-150 has the lowest payload and towing capacity amongst the entire F-150 lineup. The payload capacity of this beast stands at 836 kilos, while its brake towing capacity is 5,500 kilograms. Now, the payload and towing crown uh, still goes to the V6 EcoBoost F-150, uh, but uh, despite that, guys, well, the payload and towing capacities of this F-150 diesel is still quite formidable. Now, what we have here is the star of the show. Previously, F-150s can only be had with a V8 or a V6 gasoline motor, but that all changed when Ford decided to outfit uh, the F-150 with a turbo diesel uh, back in 2018. Now, that is the same engine that we have here. This is a 3-liter 
Power Stroke V6 turbo diesel engine that puts out 250 horsepower and 596 newton meters of torque. Now, the power can be sent to all four wheels via Ford's uh, newer 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, this F-150 might be diesel-fed, but it still has the same fuel economy figures that you'd expect from a full-size truck. You see, the quoted fuel economy figures of this beast right here stands at 9 kilometers per liter in the city and 12 kilometers per liter on the highway. Now, those figures were done based on U.S. testing, so the actual fuel economy figures of this F-150 here in the Philippines would likely be so much lower. Now, most people who will buy an F-150 here in the Philippines would normally get it for status symbol rather than its outright utility. Now, the good thing there is, well, this F-150 diesel is outfitted with a premium cabin, with premium cabin materials, class leading safety bits, and enough uh, tech features to make Jew of Soju cars happy. Now, this F-150 diesel gets uh, leather seats here. These are premium leather seats, and uh, both the driver and the front passenger gets power adjustments. Now, the driver also gets a power-adjustable steering wheel and a power-adjustable pedal box, which is fantastic news for shorter drivers like myself. Now, if you're used to uh, Ford steering wheels, well, you will be um, at home with this uh, F-150 steering wheel here because it gets a bunch of buttons here that operate your uh, hands-free buttons for connectivity and also the buttons for adaptive cruise control. You see, the F-150 diesel comes with adaptive cruise control, which is part of uh, Ford's Copilot 360 safety system. Now, as you can see on your screen, well, Copilot 360 system is, uh, well, it's a bunch of safety bits and features that will make this F-150 one super safe truck. So not only is this a huge truck, it's also a very safe truck. Now, when you look at the instrument gauge cluster of this F-150 diesel, this 14th gen has received a massive upgrade in its uh, instrument gauges. You see, it now gets a 12-inch uh, fully digital instrument gauge cluster here that shows you all of your vital vehicle information. I also love it, guys, that uh, this colored, um, well, this colored instrument gauge cluster here uh, changes its graphics every time you change the drive modes of the F-150. You see, it has uh, drive modes like a normal, it has a slippery, it has a mud, and all that stuff. Now, that is pretty awesome stuff guys. Now if the instrument gauge cluster has received a massive upgrade of 12 inches here, well the infotainment system will not be left behind. You see the F-150 diesel gets a 12 inch touchscreen infotainment system that comes with, get this, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. You see this um, this 14th generation F-150 and now comes with Ford's MySync 4 which enables all of this uh, smartphone, this wireless smartphone connectivity. Now this infotainment system also powers a full premium Bang & Olufsen speaker setup so you could expect that the sound stage of this F-150 will be truly banging. <laughs> now Ford knows that uh, F-150s will be a pain in the ass to park around in, let's say, a tight mall parking area or around the city. So they also equipped the F-150 diesel with a full 360-degree view camera. Now, on top of that, this F-150 diesel is also equipped with Ford's uh, Active Park Assist 2.0, which means that it will do everything for you uh, whenever you're parking this uh, behemoth in, uh, let's say, a tight parallel uh, parking spot or if you want to do a reverse uh, perpendicular parking or even when you need some help to get out of a tight parallel parking slot then uh, yeah it could do a park out for you now that is Ford's active uh, park assist 2.0 the thing is well if you are driving a manly truck like the f-150 well then you better bet your mama that you should be able to park this thing on your own <laughs> Well, that's just my opinion, guys. Now, beside that infotainment uh, system there, we have here a knob that says Pro Trailer. And uh, this Pro Trailer essentially just helps you and assists you whenever you're reversing the F-150. Uh, when, uh, if you have a trailer uh, 
hooked up at the back of this truck. So that will help you, you know, reverse this thing like a, like a professional trucker, a professional truck driver. Now when you go down from there, we have here, uh, of course, a dual zone fully automatic climate control system here. And on the left side of that, we've got a drive mode knob here that uh, changes the drive modes. As I mentioned, this F-150 has multiple drive modes. And we also have buttons here for your four-wheel drive capability. Now on the other side of uh, this climate control setup, you have here um, some, you know, some power outlets, a 12-volt outlet and even a home socket um, outlet right here in case you're plugging items like a laptop and whatnot. Now we also have here a large cubby right here in the center and this cubby has a pretty neat feature. You see when you open it, you can always get your smartphone and you can park it here with your smartphone standing up like that. It has a small uh, receptacle there exactly for your smartphone. So that's also pretty cool. Now, here's another neat party trick of the F-150 diesel. You see, the shift knob can go away and it, it will create a completely flat surface here so that if you need to work on stuff, you're in a job site, you want to pop your laptop out, you can uh, stow away your shift knob and you can park your laptop right there and start working. And once work is all done, well, you can always pop that shifter back out. Now, that is also a pretty cool feature. Now, beside that shifter, we have a couple of, uh, well, cup holders here, which I will subject to my clean canteen test. The thing is, well, Fords have always passed my clean canteen test, so I'm pretty sure this will also pass. See? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, uh, my clean canteen fits in this cup holder. Now, one of the notable things about this F-150 diesel 2 is, well, it has a ton of storage space right here. We get a massive center console here where you can store your laptop if you like or even a helmet or even, yeah, a lot of large stuff can fit in here. And we also have a dual, well, dual glove boxes here. And we also have a storage bins even at the sides of the center tunnel and also on the sides of your door cards. Now, this uh, F-150 is clearly a storage king. Now, another thing that I notice here is the cabin materials use. As I mentioned, for a utility truck, well, the cabin materials used here are all premium materials. We get stitched brown leather on the top of the dashboard, on the top of the door cards. We also get leather on here on the paddings of your door cards. And we also get this nice uh, aluminum trim on the middle dashboard. And it all comes together to create a really premium and luxurious feeling cabin. Now throw in that large panoramic sunroof there and yeah you could really see that this f-150 diesel is specced for porma or for status symbol uh, rather than actual utility now just like the f-150 that i reviewed last year the back seat of this f-150 diesel is humongous i mean Anybody who's taller than uh, six feet would comfortably sit here at the back. No problems at all. <laughs> now, when it comes to the amenities here at the back seat, well, we do get a bunch of amenities here. Now, of course, we have that, um, that panoramic sunroof right there for that nice and airy feeling here at the back. Plus, we also have a pair of AC vents here. We also have a couple of uh, cup holders, uh, some more charge ports here, a 12 volt outlet, some USB charge ports, and even a home socket right there. Plus we also have a heating for the seats of the rear passengers. Um, not really gonna be needed here in the Philippines, yeah. And uh, did I mention cup holders, guys? Because yeah, this thing has a center armrest with two cup holders. And our door cards also have a pair of cup holders. And we also have cup holders right here on the center console right there. So we've got six cup holders uh, for the backseat passengers because, well, it won't be called a Ford if it doesn't have that many cup holders. The Ford F-150 diesel is proof that Ford Philippines knows and listens to its customer base. The Philippines has long been in love with its diesel-powered trucks and SUVs, and the arrival of the F-150 diesel here will now present another viable option for moneyed yet practical folks. And with a ton of orders coming in for this 
F-150 diesel, well, it looks like we will be seeing more of these behemoths out on the road. Thanks for watching.